Welcome back to our series on path morphology. This is part three, if you have been following us. And if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and please click on the bell so you'll be the first to receive anything that is being posted. These things, you don't have to miss them. Okay, so question 51. During the histological examination of the left atrial auricle biopsy, okay, biopsy material, a rheumatic granuloma was detected. It had developed from the fibrinoid necrosis focus surrounded by basophilic macrophages, lymphocytes, fibroblasts, and single plasmocytes. Name the possible type of inflammatory reaction of the immune basis of the immune basis first of all, before i get into the answer for the benefit of studying let me give you some few uh, diseases according to each type of hypersensitivity so for type 1 usually it is uh, anaphylaxis and allergic reaction for type 2 or cytotoxicity Certain immune diseases like Graves' disease, myasthenia Graves, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, good pasture syndrome, and so on and so forth. For type 3, we have vasculitis, serum sickness, nephritis, extrinsic allergic reaction, alveolitis, and so on and so forth. For type 4, we have contact dermatitis. Tuberculin text reaction or Mantox reaction or Mantox text, granulomatous inflammation, allograft rejection, graft versus host diseases, etc. So, from the examples I've mentioned, what do you think? This is rheumatic granuloma. So, rheumatic granuloma means what? Type 4. Type 4 and type 4 is the same as delayed type hypersensitivity. Delayed type hypersensitivity. All right. So, question 52 A four year old child had a Mantox test. Mantox, what type of hypersensitivity is it? Mantox is always type 4. Go back to explanation before. Anyways, so in 60 hours, okay, the question is what type of hypersensitivity is it? So this is type 4. So 52, your answer should be delayed type hypersensitivity. So AC. C. 53. A puncture biopsy has shown a diffuse infiltration of stroma by lymphocyte, plasmocyte, lymphoblast, plasmoblast, and necrotic arthritis in transplanted what? Kidney. What pathological pathologic process has developed in the transplant? Again, I've showed you. Uh, this is allograft rejection. So, what type of it is it? What type of hepatitis is it? Type four, which is what immune rejection. Immune rejection. So that's fifty-three. So answer is D. 54. Autopsy of a six-month-old baby who died of sepsis has shown the absence of thymus gland. Oh, thymus gland responsible for, you know, T lymphocyte and, I mean, lymphocyte production. Spleen weight and... Spleen weight and size decrease. Microscopically, there was detected the absence of T dependent follicle zones with red pulp exhaust. The absence of pericortical zone in lymph nodes, which were presented mostly by T lymphocytes. So these zones of the peripheral immune organs are developed normally. What pathologic process do the fat indicate? All right. Now, deficiency of T cells means the George syndrome. 
the George syndrome. Now, deficiency of B cells is Bruton's hypo gamma globulinemia. Hypo gamma globulinemia. So if it's B is T cells, that means we are talking about what? The George syndrome. The George syndrome. All right. So 55. An infantile child of 14 suddenly died after acute respiratory viral infection. Autopsy has shown drastic thymus enlargement. Thymus enlargement. Generalized hyperplasia of the lymph node and hypoplasia of the ovaries. Diagnose the disease. Now, thymus hyperplasia that's leading to the enlargement means thymo lymphatic state hence our answer is what is a so it means that this patient is in that state of thymus enlargement or time time equal lymphatic enlargement whatever all right so 56 Sorry, 56. Whoa, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Okay. So 56. A five-year-old child died of acute destructive staphylococcal pneumonia. During the examination of the thymus, its mass decreased to a three. Histological examination showed the regress of the glands lobos greatly decreased lymphocyte amount with stroma collapse layers inversion ganglion, ganglionic enlargement of his cells carposals what is the most possible diagnosis now <laughs> our answer here is actually accidental involution accidental involution and this is why now accidental Thymus involution or transformation is the reduction in the size and the mass due to thymocyte migration to the peripheral immune organs and blood as well as due to the partial decomposition and absorption, absorption by macrophages. And according to Ivano Ivanovskaya, according to Ivanovskaya, that's a Ukrainian name actually. It's a method of classification. Accidental involution consists of five stages. It consists of five stages. But I cannot give you all these things because of time. So I will encourage you, I will encourage you to go to the description box and download the book that you can find this thing in. It is in the description box. So please download it so the answer is accidental involution because it best explains all these things that are actually what happening all right so 57, yeah, 57. autopsy of a 57 year old man who had hypertensive disease and died of cardiac decom decompensation cardiac decompensation has shown an enlarged heart with dilated cavities. Microscopically, cardiomyocytes noticeably enlarge with fatty degeneration and hyperchromic barrel shaped nuclei. What is the most possible pathological process? Now, due to the enlarged heart with dilated cavities, easy to diagnose hypertrophy. So that means we are either it is an uh, eccentric or concentric because of enlargement is hypertrophy this one is not denoting anything concerning hypertrophy so by elimination we have eliminated this and we are left with just two just two all right so now now according to the stage of adaptation two types of myocardial hypertrophy have been described two types have been described one 
is a concentric. Concentric. Now, concentric is where the masculine, the masculine nature or the masculine nature is clearly enlarged, but the chambers of the heart are not dilated or they are not enlarged. Whereas eccentric, both the myocardium or the muscular nature of the heart and the chambers are both enlarged. Both of them are enlarged. So from the question, we have, of course, enlarged heart with dilated what? Cavities. This is definitely eccentric hypertrophy. So your answer here is B. Please, if I'm moving too fast, just rewind, play it again. That's just a video. All right. 58. A 40-year-old man with a stain... A st hey. A stenosine <laughs> cancer of esophagus, that's without metastasis, has the atrophy of skeletal muscles and subcutaneous fatty tissue. The skin is of hmm, what is sallow? Sallow brown color. Epidermis is thin and the heart is diminished. The myocardium and the liver are of brown color. Diagnose the disease. Don't forget there's no cancer here. Because it's been clear, it's been cleared here, without metastasis. In cancer, there's always, most of the time, metastasis. All right. Now, atrophy simply means reduced number and size of cells, tissues, or organs. It can be general or local. Now, the general type of atrophy is due to stenosis of the esophagus in this question. It is due to what? Stenosis of the esophagus, hence inadequate food intake. And when there's an inadequate food intake, it means it's what? Alimentary. Alimentary. So your answer here should be what? Alimentary. Alimentary. All right. So your answer is E. However, for the benefit of studies again, Addison disease is simply a disorder due to insufficient production of hormones by adrenal gland. Myasthenia gravis is a chronic autoimmune neuromuscular disease that causes weakness in the skeletal muscles. And brown atrophy is simply, is simply an atrophic tissue with yellowish brown color usually seen in heart and the liver. All right. So your answer is uh, definitely E. So 59. A patient who had gastric carcinoma died of cancerous cachea. Autopsy has shown characteristic changes in the heart. How can we call such heart? Come on. What did I say about brand atrophy? Yellowish brand color seen in what heart and liver. So your answer is what? Brown atrophic. So your answer is C. 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 A teenager who complains of muscular atrophy and negative volume of the shank after a long-term regenerative process of the femoral fracture without nerve damage how can we term such atrophy now this is a type of local atrophy called dysfunctional atrophy which develops due to reduction of the function of the organ so it has lost its functional what? ability. Therefore, our answer is D. This functional. 61. 
A histological examination of an endometrium scrap of a 45-year-old woman who had a disordered ovarian menstrual cycle has shown an increased amount of endometrial glands. Some of them are corkscrew-like convoluted. The other cystic dilated. Diagnose the disease. Come on. You have seen glands increase. Glands and you have what? Stick, uh, cystic. So, what could possibly be your answer? This is definitely what? Glandulocystic hyperplasia of endometrium. Don't forget, increased amount of endometrial gland is called what? Hyperplasia. And of course, cystic dilated means cystic. <laughs> All right. 62. Sorry. A patient is a heavy smoker. In the bronchus biopsy material in the thickened mucous membrane, there was detected a chronic inflammation and transformation of simple ciliated epithelium into stratified pavement one. What process? So movement from one state of a cell to another type is called, of course, Metaplasia. So your answer is B. 63. A patient who had who has been smoking. Hey, another smoking again. Had a cough. He complains of general weakness after he lost 12 kilograms in the course of last two months after biopsy material. There is what? Squamous cell carcinoma was diagnosed. Squamous cell carcinoma. So, what could be the reason? Of course, metaplasia. So, your answer is C. C. Don't forget, in the respiratory tract, we have what type of epithelium? <laughs> it's called pseudo stratified columnar epithelium. And if it has changed to carcinoma, definitely we're talking about what metaplasia. So, 64. A traumatic injury of the liver of the liver, a structure and functions renew completely. It renewed completely. That means there was regeneration completely, it got healed completely. So what is your answer? Of course, restitution. Restitution. A patient has a deep lacerated blunt edge wound covered with Okay, something pulls, something pulls, whatever. Marginal parts are filled with succulent granulation tissue that does not rise. It doesn't rise above the wound, the wound level. Name the form of wound healing. All right. Now there's going to be some teaching over here. So the process of wound healing are one, healing by first intention which is characterized by clean and uninfected wound surgically incised without much loss of cells and tissues with edges approximated by surgical sutures that is for primary we also have healing by second intention this is characterized by an open large tissue defect which is sometimes infected loss of cells and tissues and not approximated by surgical sutures now a deep lacerated blunt end wound covered with pause come on what do you think it's healing by what second intention which is also called healing by secondary okay second whatever so it's the same thing so it's e so our answer here is e 66 two more oh this place try anyways we have no option a histological examination of a new growth has shown that parenchyma has been formed of in Targumentary epithelium with an increased amount of layers. Stroma together 
The stroma together with epithelial perforation forms papillae. Papillae. Term the form of atypism. Atypism is, you know, abnormal cell growth. Atypism. Alright, so let's do some learning over here. Now, neoplasm. Of course, this, this is a definite neoplasm or tumor. And a satisfactory de definition of a tumor is the presence of mass or tissue mass formed as a result of abnormal, excessive, uncoordinated, autonomous, and purposeless proliferation of cells. Therefore, the form of atypism here is what? Tissue. I know it sounds confusing, but don't be confused. It's when the tissue is a mass of what tissue, a mass of tissue. So the answer is E. A gastroscopic examination of a patient has shown a pendiculated tumor 1.5 cm in diameter in the area of lesser curvature of the stomach. What kind of growth does the tumor have? All right, another. Mm -hmm. We have to learn this one because this is not new to us. All right. So now, depending on the degree of tumor differentiation, there are three types of growth. Three types of growth. We have one: expansive, apposition, and infiltration or infiltrative. All right. Now, under expansive, it grows from inside, moving away the surrounding tissue. Apposition is due to the transformation of normal cells to tumor cells whilst infiltration or infiltrating is a tumor that invade normal tissues and destroy them they invade normal tissue and they destroy them now let's look at the uh, exophilic or exophytic sorry exophytic this is an expansive growth of tumor to the cavity of the organ to the cavity of the organ now, endophytic. This is an infiltrating growth of tumor deep into the wall of the organ. Now, with our description over here, they said a penile tumor in the what lesser curvature of the stomach. So that means we are talking about what? exophytic, exophytic, an expansive growth of a tumor. To the cavity of the organ. Don't forget, expansive means what? A tissue which is growing away from the surrounding tissue. So this is definitely what? Exophytic. So your answer is D. 68. A microscopic examination of the biopsy material from the tumor in the right bronchus mucous membrane has shown the cell and tissue atypism that is tumor. Appearance of some structures in the form of epithelial pearls define it. Define the pathological process. Now your clear is what epithelial pearls. Now epithelial pearls also means keratin pearls or keratinized structures formed in regions where abnormal squamous cells form concentric layers. So now, these cells are sometimes seen with squamous cell carcinoma. Hence, the pathologic process is called malignant tumor. Malignant tumor. So your answer is malignant tumor. C. 69. A histological examination of the biopsy material from the chronic, from the chronic non-healing Portio vaginalis of a 47 year old woman has shown the signs of cellular atypism. The basic membrane is without changes. Without changes. Without changes is your clue. So, diagnosis this is what? Carcinoma in C2. Carcinoma in C2. So, your answer is B. Don't forget, there's no changes. 70. A new skin growth of solid consistency that look like a noodle with papilla surface. Your guy is what? Papilla surface. 
and reminded cauliflower was removed. Microscopically, the tumor consists of many papillae. My brother, don't waste your time. The answer is what? Papilloma. The answer is what? Papilloma. So, A. 71. During the histological examination of a stomach tumor, a great amount of singinant ring cells. So, your guy is what? Singinant ring cells. This is profound for mucoid carcinoma. This guy is very, very profound. Or is found mainly in what? Uh, mucoid or colloid carcinoma. So, what type of cancer is it? What cancer is it? This is uh, mucinous. Don't forget mucoid, mucinous. So, the answer is D. 72. A 62-year-old man had a kidney removed. A microscopic examination has shown a tumor in the form of a node, approximately 8 cm in diameter. The tumor tissue is variegated with multiple hemorrhages and necrosis on the cut surface. Histologically, the tumor consists of light cells that form alveolar and papillar structures. The invasive growth of the tumor is moderate. Many cells have pathological mitosis and hyperchromic nuclei diagnose the tumor. This is simply cancer of the kidney. And cancer of the kidney is also called renal cell carcinoma. Finish. Cancer is A. 73. A histological examination of a mammary gland has shown a tumor consisting of poorly differentiated atypical cells of epithelial genesis. They form Trabicles separated from one another by connective tissue. The cells and the stroma correlation is approximately 1 is to 1. Name the histological variant of the cancer. Of course, this is obviously a breast cancer of non-invasive type. That is what? A type of what? Carcinoma in situ. Carcinoma in situ. However, carcinoma in situ microscopically is divided into four. Mm -hmm. We have the solid type, the comedo type, the papillary type, and we have the cribriform type. Again, I recommend to download this file in the description box for better understanding. So, of course, if this is car carcinoma in situ, and I've mentioned four types, what do you hear? Of course, solid carcinoma. So your answer is C. 74. A pathological examination of an endometrium script of an elderly woman with metragia, that is a discoordinated menstruation in menopause, has shown an atypical epithelium with excrescence with the formation of epithelial pearls. Again, your guy. Epithelial pearls. So what is it? This is squamous cell carcinoma of skin. Hornification is also... Hornification means keratinization. Don't forget. So this is what? D. 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 74 is D. 75. A 55-year-old woman had uterine bleeding. Diagnostic deletation and cruelty of cervical mucous membrane were performed. Among blood elements, glandular elements different in form and size, form of atypical cells with hyperchromic nuclei and numerous mitosis. We detected. What can we think of? Of course, this is definitely talking about what cancer of the uterus, cancer of the uterus, cancer of the uterus, and this can be called adenocarcinoma. Adenocarcinoma. So the answer is 
A. 76. A bronchoscopy of a 62-year-old patient has shown a polypus mass nearly 1 cm in diameter in the initial part of the right lung proximal bronchus. A historical examination diagnosed a tumor built of small lymphocyte-like cells with hyperchromic nuclei. These cells grow in structure and tension bars. They grow in structure and tension bars. What is your possible variant of the tumor? Now, this description can be seen in old cell carcinoma. Old, yeah, the food old. Old cell carcinoma, also called undifferentiated small cell carcinoma, which is composed of uniform small cells, dense over nuclei, which are organized into cords, aggregates, and ribbons around small vessels forming pseudorosette. So, with this definition, I mean, definition and description. Our answer should be undifferentiated small cell carcinoma or oat cell carcinoma. So your clue here was what? The arrangement in your instructor and what about? Mm, 77. Gradually, a patch with necrosis and also in the middle has developed in the patient's skin of the face. A pathohistological examination of the biopsy material has shown an excrescence of atypical epithelial cells with numerous pathological mitosis. What is the most probable answer? This is definitely skin cancer. Skin cancer. Atypism means cancer. Skin, of course, on the face. 78. In the mammary gland biopsy material, solid layers built of small epithelial cells with polypus nuclei and numerous pathological mitosis were detected. The quantity of stoma is minor, but the lymphocytic but with lymphocytic infiltration diagnosed the disease. Alright. Now, one of the breast cancers with better prognosis hmm, is medullary carcinoma why because it has lymphoid infiltrate in the tumor stoma in the tumor stoma so this is definitely what c medullary carcinoma why because there's an infiltration of what lymphocyte in the stoma all right all right this is 79 and i will take a break when we come back, we will continue. And please, if you've not subscribed, kindly do. And this video, I'm proud to say, is brought to you by Ken Andrew Educational Consult, where we help students get admission in Ukraine. All right, so please enjoy and have a wonderful day. Bye.